welcome to Travel Wrap and this week we're back doing what we're supposed to do in our industry. We're traveling, we're flying. We're going through the airport to see the full airport experience. Donning the mask, checking in, going through security. And here we are in the restaurant facilities at Dublin Airport. We'll also be boarding very, very shortly to have a look at the onboard experience. Everything has changed and how comfortable is it for those who wish to engage. July the 1st, it's the first day of a large number of departures from Dublin Airport. 80 departures today and the car park is full. So it's a sign that things are returning back to normal. A lot of activity at the airport this morning. And here we are, most visible part of the post-Covid experience is masks must be worn throughout the terminal. We have checked in the bag, we hope to see it at the other side, reasonably busy, 10,900 passengers due to get through here today. There is a buzz, but it's not a July buzz when normally 100,000 passengers would come through the airport in a day. Welcome back, it says. The retail areas are all as contactless as possible. Idea is to do your shopping and to make your payments without any contact. Retail is so central to the airport experience. Contactless is the key word throughout the airport, all the way from the car park, which is now on license plate recognition. Tag your own bag, drop it off, boarding pass scan from your phone. When it comes to paying in the restaurants, it's also contactless, up to 99 euro. And face masks can be purchased from vending machines, high grade ones for 3 euro, low grade ones, 5 for 6 euro. It has to be said, the novelty of wearing this mask is wearing off. It's very difficult to wear if you aren't used to it. It takes a little bit of while. They say breathe through the mouth first and then start breathing through the nose. But even in the airport, and we haven't even reached the boarding gate yet, I'm beginning to think that the masked mode of transport is not going to be a appealing to a novel lot of people. You do get a bit of relief when you reach the eating spaces. This is one of the few that are open. The big upstairs food hall in Dublin Airport people will be familiar with. It's all closed. But here we are in Marquette and it's quite busy. There's socially distanced tables, uh, people well apart from each other. And we're looking out at the aircraft and the movements and all the normal airport things we're used to. Here is quiet compared with what you'd expect for July. It's like a quiet time in the middle of winter or maybe February, between the rush periods, between the waves. Not exactly, you get the impression a lot of people and they're queuing for the gate already at the aircraft have waited a long time for this flight because Ireland and the destination have been disconnected for a long, long time. And the first week or two of these flights are going to see a lot of people who were caught on the wrong side of an air route returning to where they were supposed to be. We are via credit card only, so no cash would be accepted. Thank you very much for your cooperation. Well, here we are back flying again. The flight is about 70% full. They've just called out someone who took their mask off. All the crew masked, all the passengers masked. And here's the trolley coming down the aisle. It's a tremendous feeling to be back in the air again. 40% of the fleet is back in the air at this stage. Ryanair hoped to bring that up to 60% in August and 80% in September. Under EASA regulations, social distancing has not been practiced on the aircraft. That means the middle seat not being left empty but flights in July are probably less full than they would be later in the season. And a crucial difference between our two major airlines. Ryanair encourage people to bring cabin bags on board. Aer Lingus say, don't bring the cabin bag on board, check it in and there won't be an extra charge. Thank you for flying Ryanair. Last year, over 90% of our flights arrived on time. We hope you enjoyed yours and we look forward to welcoming you on board again soon. Ryanair, low fares, made simple. Ladies and gents, everybody welcome. <laughs> Um, no. 
We are now in Valletta Airport and this camera in the wall is measuring the temperature of every passenger and there are three medics in scrubs on duty. Arrivals area is closed, meet and greet is now outdoors. At the end of the three hour flight it has to be said it's a relief to get the mask off and another temperature check before I check into the hotel. My name is Owen Corrie. Travel Wrap is sponsored by the Irish Travel Agents Association. The views here are my own.